So behind me here, I have Randall Jones 335D. Um, basically, this had a transmission issue on it. And what we did is we swapped in the 8HP 75 from a G-Series vehicle. So this is only the second vehicle that's ever been swapped with a G-Series transmission. And it's all possible thanks to CAN TCU. I mean, their integration with this chassis is absolutely awesome. But um, we're kind of still in the beta phase on this vehicle. So there's still some bugs and learning curves to figure out on it. But basically, it's as bolt-on and OEM setup as it can possibly be. Specifically on this E90 with the M57 engine in it, um, basically what I had to do is I had to custom make a bracket because the G-Series transmission just sits back a little bit further. But that's all taken care of, same drive shaft. Um, there's an adapter pleat that goes between the M57 and the G-Series diesel transmission. So, but I mean, other than that, it's, it's bolt-on. But uh, the integration on this is really good. Uh, we'll skip to a driving video just so you guys could see how smooth and nice this transmission is. So in here we have the F30 shifter, um, which communicates with the CAN TCU and obviously communicates with the transmission. But um, it, it's very nice. Everything works as it should. Sport mode, um, park in here. So everything's all functional. This trim bezel here, we probably still have to find a better solution for that. Maybe someone can 3D print something to go around here, but it works for now, which is awesome. So another cool thing about the CAN TCU is if you hit DTC once on it, over here, it puts the transmission into sport mode. So I believe DC, when I push DTC once, it puts in sport plus mode. So it just basically changes the drive logic of the transmission itself, which is absolutely sweet. So uh, with further ado, we'll, we'll go to a test drive video. Don't mind the airbag light on this. This customer had uh, seats swapped out and the pretensioner on the seat belt is still whacked out. So he needs to take care of that. But um, we'll go for a little test drive and uh, you guys could see this in operation. So to start out with, um, we're in park right now. And if I go to drive, it automatically puts us in D2 just because first gear is very low for this vehicle. So we'll go ahead and do a quick little drive here and you guys can take a look at the tack versus the gear changes as well. So fourth gear already, fifth gear, sixth gear. Oh, not yet. There's sixth gear. But I can't even feel a transmission shift. Like this G-Series transmission is very smooth. And also keep in mind, this transmission with this configuration is still in beta testing. So we're still ironing out, not me, but um, kind of like CAN TCU is still going through all the bugs and whatnot on this transmission setup. But just for starters, I mean, it is very nice and responsive. It's, just, it's awesome. So. So we're in uh, seventh gear right now, eighth gear, we're at about 1500 RPM and we're roughly around 60 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour. So it's just, it's smooth. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's literally like BMW made this vehicle together. Um, there's still fault codes that pop up if you have um, if you like push the shifter without pushing the unlock button, um, I don't know, it, it's such a sweet setup. And I, I can't thank Kenneth enough at CAN TCU just for making this integration even possible. Um, without this integration, I wouldn't have any idea. Um, but another thing I wanted to talk about is, um, so I make, I actually make the harness, the plug and play harness for this vehicle. So. Um, it, it's literally almost plug and play. All you have to do is swap around the um, the 6HP plug to the AHP plug on the C90. So, but other than that, it's it's very minimal. I mean, yes, it's a lot of work to swap the transmission over, but once you get past that part, uh, the software on that side of things is very simple and easy to use. So I don't want to get too much into depth about this just because this is still beta, like I, I told you guys before. Um, but the F-Series transmission for this vehicle 
is pretty rock solid and that's literally like plug and play because you can still use the same transmission bracket on the back side um, and everything's very compatible on this vehicle. The pros to the swap is you'll probably get better fuel economy. In my E70 that I swapped, I noticed about five miles per gallon improvement um, versus the 6 HP. And then obviously it, it's a lot more quicker. The shifts are way more precise. And usually these eight speed transmissions can hold a lot more horsepower and torque behind the engine. So um, it's not for everyone. It, it's kind of like a novelty go fast thing to put in your vehicle. Um, some people might not think that it's necessarily worth the price and I get that. I mean, um, it, it's definitely not worth it for me to put it in, but I want it. So that's just a cool thing to have. That's about it. I just want to throw out together this quick video for you guys, um, just to let you know what I'm doing and, um, what's going on as far as the eight speed swap stuff. So that's it.